after the break. He doesn't want to say much. He's just getting ready, concentrating, studying his act. I feel it. Sentimental, and I say in church, I love you. Oh, God. For everything. Norm McDonald, ladies and gentlemen. That was very sweet. Good night, everybody. Norm MacDonald was born Norman Jean MacDonald in Quebec City, Quebec, Canada on October 17, 1959. His career in stand-up comedy, Norm's first job was writing for The Dennis Miller Show in 1992 and then Roseanne in 1988. While writing for Roseanne, he was noticed by Lauren Michaels, who liked Norm's stand-up and gave him his first job on SNL. And finally, back again, Burt Reynolds in a commanding lead with $14. Hey, hey uh, check out the podium. Look at this. Mr. Reynolds has apparently changed his name to Turd Ferguson. Yeah, that's right. Turd Ferguson. It's a funny name. Norm became widely popular when he became the Weekend Update anchor with his trademark line. And now, the fake news. He lasted from September 24th, 1994 until December 13th, 1997, when he was first fired by Don Olmeyer, president of NBC of the West Coast. His last weekend update was December 13th of that year. He officially left the show in March 1998. His movie, Dirty Work, was directed by the late Bob Saget. Co so anyway, so, so this uh, Dirty Work, I, th I want to thank you for your support. You've yes. really, really uh, Well, I'm great. a big fan. I think Norm McDonald. first of all, they're not letting Norm advertise his movie on, on NBC, NBC. Which is totally outrageous. But the meanwhile, the press doesn't hurt because it's kind of geared to the movie. I mean, it's yeah. about guys getting back at, you know, bureaucracy. Yeah, yeah I said, uh, you know, maybe you ought to thank Don Olmeyer. <laughs> starring Ari Lang and featuring the late Chris Farley in his last film. The film was dedicated to his memory later that year, also that same year, which he started working on in the summer of 97. Call the guys. Hello? Dirty work. We'll help you get even. Shut your cake hole, Yoko! Raunchy. You ever had a chick with a beard before? Tasteless. Hey, movie line. Oh, how's that looking at it? He was supposed to keep driving. We hide these fish all over the house? In March 1999, the show called Simply Norm came out on ABC and had a three season run. During that time, he also starred in the movie Screwed 2000 opposite Dave Chappelle. Norm MacDonald was also a voice actor and provided voice acting roles for Family Guy, Mike Tyson's Mysteries, The Oroville, and Dr. Doolittle films. Well, I think the most obvious mystery to solve is who is my mother and why did she leave me on Mike Tyson's doorstep when I was a baby? Probably because she didn't want you. There, mystery solved. You're an asshole. I'm... You're an asshole. Which one is Peter Griffin? Uh, he is. Come on, man. Which one is Peter Griffin? Uh, this is Peter Griffin. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. <laughs> Claire, look, just let me take you out on one date. If you have a crappy night, I promise I'll never ask you again. Y'all said no. Besides, we're incompatible species. It's impossible. Huh? There's more where that came from. Get out. All right. Between 2013 and 2018, McDonald hosted the talk show Norm McDonald Live, a video podcast, and Norm McDonald has a show, a Netflix series, on which he interviewed comedians and other celebrities. You know who our boss is on this show? Uh, the great David Letterman. So uh, uh, Letterman's like the opposite. He's like, I don't want to be called executive producer. So every week you'd have like a, a funny title. Like you go, I'm location scout, or you know, <laughs> I'm special counsel. You want to be special counsel. Letterman special loves counsel. you. Special counsel to Norm McDonald. <laughs> In 2016, he authored, based on a true story, presented heavily fictionalized accounts of his life. Unfortunately, McDonald died of leukemia in September 2021, a condition he had not publicly disclosed. He was 61 years old at the time. McDonald's first performances in comedy were the stand-up clubs in Ottawa, Canada, regular appearing on amateur nights at Yuck Yucks in 1985. In 2014, McDonald unsuccessfully campaigned on Twitter to be named the new host of The Late Late Show after then-host Craig Ferguson announced he would be leaving. On May 15, 2015, McDonald was the final stand-up act on The Late Show with David Letterman. During his set, which ended with him breaking into tears and told Dave that he truly loved him. Norm McDonald! In 2013, McDonald was diagnosed with multiple diseases. He disclosed his diagnosis only to family, his agent, and producing partner, fearing that revealing his condition to the public 
would affect the way he was perceived. According to his brother Neil, the cancer went into remission not long after, but returned early 2020. It's mental, and I say in truth, I love you. Very funny, Norm, and thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Norm MacDonald, ladies and gentlemen. That was very sweet, Norm. Good night, everybody. Norm MacDonald has died. He was 61. The weekend update, you know, the fake news. I might return to my first love, dance. I don't know. The Saturday Night Live veteran's death on Tuesday follows a nine-year battle with cancer, a struggle that he had decided to keep private. After the news broke, McDonald's comedy peers took to social media with their heartfelt tributes. That's a little scoop for the viewers. Jim Carrey wrote on Twitter, My dear friend Norm McDonald passed away after a brave 10-year battle. He was one of our most precious gems, an honest and courageous comedy genius. I love him. In a room full of people when Norm did that for those people. Right. Because that <clears throat> would have evaluated, measured, and directed what he's talking about. And for us to sit here and look at it, not a true test of anything really other than we all love Norm. And, and my God, he's certainly prolific, certainly energetic, but we weren't watching stand-up comedy because it was impossible. But there's something there, for sure. I'm roast. And he called me and he said, uh, uh, I, Saget, I, I can't, this is a bad impression, I can't help but do it though. Saget, I, I can't say mean things about you, you're my friend. I don't even want to do it, but I'm going to do it because it's you. And uh, we've been through a bunch of stuff, you know, you, we did dirty work and that thing. It's so funny, people say, Bob doesn't get through any interview without mentioning it at least twice. That movie. <sighs> now a tear comes down my face. Um... I loved working with him. It wasn't easy because he was a perfectionist and he was a complex carbohydrate. He was, a, he was a, I don't want to say was, but I have to. Uh, I got to be in reality myself. But, you know, so we'd gone through so much together. Norm contributed to the Good Netflix night, everybody. festival. Ed, that was great. Oh, thanks. I you posted I, that I, memorial. It was a really special afternoon. It was, um... <clears throat> But it does, uh, you know, I've been thinking about it lately because I knew, I knew Norm better. I think I, I knew the Gilbert, Gilbert used to do tons of bits for us over the years and about this guy that was so, so brilliantly um, unusual and is, it, and is going to be so lasting and his work is so important. Like he did what he wanted to do. And when he was on SNL, how big a gig that was. Because there was so few channels, the internet hadn't blown up yet. And even with basic cable and everything, I mean, it was still, if you were on Saturday Night Live and you were doing Weekend Update, it was one of the most coveted gigs a comedian could have. It's in peace to the amazing, uncomparable uh, Norm MacDonald. But somebody said, when I feel bad and down, I watch Norm MacDonald YouTube clips for hours and it makes me feel better. And dude, I did that yesterday. And I, shame on me for only knowing a handful.